Hey, hey, welcome back to the channel. It's that guy, SoFly Energy Eli. Please do make sure you comment, like, share, and subscribe, man. So, well, uh, we got to talk about this this zesty agenda, man. This this agenda that they are trying to infiltrate to the young people. And like I said, at the end of the day, I'm not disrespecting any community uh, or anyone. But when you're dealing with young people, when you're dealing with children, that's when things have to be spoken. Um, so obviously this past weekend uh, at Coachella, you know, uh, in, in California, where they have this big music festival that they have every single year. Um, there is a video that is swirling around um, with uh, Jaden Smith, Will Smith's son, and Justin Bieber. Now, in this video, you can see Jaden Smith coming behind Justin Bieber, and they're kind of moving like this as he's groping him and grabbing him. Um, and Justin Bieber's still moving, then he turns around. Now, when he turns around, they greet each other. I think Jaden Smith greets him with a pound. As he's pounding him, you know, locking in, Justin Bieber gives him a kiss on the cheek. Now, if you are of that community, if you are of those things, that's what you do. But if you are claiming that you are not of that community, but you are still operating in these things, then it has to be called out. And then people keep saying, yo, why are you so worried about what other people do? Okay, cool. Because there are little kids, young children who are influenced by these things that they see. Their minds can't decipher as to, oh, okay, cool. Well, should I do this? Should I not? They're very influenced and very influential in their minds because it's still being shaped, which goes to my other point. With the Duke guard, Jared McCain, who's just declared for the NBA draft, um, you know, if you know anything about him, they've been kind of saying he's, you know, zesty anyway from how he, you know, moves and does certain things. Cool, fair enough, whatever. That part I'm not talking about. The part I'm talking about is him doing his nail painting. In no way, shape, or form is it masculine for a man to paint his nails. What could be masculine about a man painting his nails? And people keep saying, oh, rock stars did it, they did it. They do it. Who said it was cool for them to do it? But at the end of the day, they're not rock stars. That's the cards you want to play. So he just signed a deal for a nail polish company, which is going to be even more than pushing the zesty agenda that you can kind of see. Like I said, and I'll continue to say in this video, I am not bashing any community. I am not bashing any you know group of people. But when it comes to the minds of young people and people that are coming up, these things have to be said because they they can be persuaded and they can do things that they have no clue of what they're getting themselves into. Now, if you're saying that there's not an agenda and there's not certain things that they're doing, you're clearly just lying to yourself. There have been people from that community who have even said themselves like, yeah, I can even see where they're trying to push this. Their children, their minds have not developed yet. And these kids don't know any different. So they're going to do certain things that they see. By them allowing and continuing to show Jared McCain every single time you see him, you know, for Duke basketball and him with the blue and the white on his nails. Do you not know that there's kids in middle school right now? Oh, Jared McCain's my favorite player. They're going to do everything that he does. Did we not do the same things for our favorite players and um, things that we did? I wanted to be like Jordan. So I used to wear a band on my arm. I may wear a, a sleeve around my leg, you know. You want to be like Jordan. It's some people that wanted to be like Allen Iverson when I was growing up. We used to cut sleeves and cut stockings and put it on our arm before you could actually go in the store and buy these sleeves. This was like 02 when like Allen Iverson just went to the finals and everything. We used to cut up sleeves and put it uh, stockings. <laughs> um, old socks. You would go in your mom's room, get her, maybe get her stocking or your old socks and put the sock around and cut it up and put it on your arm. Because we were trying to be like Allen Iverson because we were what? We were young. We were just trying to do what we've seen. So these kids are going to be influenced and do certain things that they see. So once again, going back to Justin Bieber and Jaden Smith, it's going to be kids that are, oh, Justin Bieber's my, oh, if Justin Bieber's doing that, then I can. And their minds are going to be very much influenced to do these things. And this is the point I'm trying to get at about, you know, there is an agenda, a huge agenda, you know, from man bags to, all these certain things. And, and listen, I'm not saying because you are doing these things that you are, you know, of that community. But what I'm saying is it is kind of effeminate in some way for some of these things to be done or some of these things to be said. 
you know, from everything they're trying to push with certain fashion, from everything they're trying to push, it's, it's, it's they're basically just leaving no boundaries. Everything is fluid. You can, you can just kind of just go whichever way you want to kind of go. And like I said, these young kids don't know the difference. You know, they don't know the difference. And that's the minds and that's the message that I'm trying to give to this video. In no way, shape or form am I bashing any community because at the end of the day, everyone's still human, everyone's still people and everyone's gonna make their own decisions and have to live with their own judgment when those decisions have been made. But when it comes to young people, when it comes to kids, no. I will take a stand and I will say something because they need to be told and led down the right path and show, you know, what is correct and what is not correct. And that's just literally just what it is, you know? So, like I said, you can see who they're putting in position to place these things. You like, you know, because I'm not saying Jerry McCain wasn't a good player. Yes, you know, he was a McDonald's All-American, you know, things of that nature. He was a good high school player, don't get me wrong. Not a bad player at all. But when you compare and put him against some of these other guys, and then he's coming out in a weak draft as well. Had this been another draft, I don't even know if he would have went as high as they kind of got him projected. But he's in the right place, right time. He's pushing their agenda, the agenda they're giving them. So he's going to be even more like, oh, yeah, go, go. We're going to make sure he, OK, you know, can be put and put in the right position, you know. And, um, you know, even going back with Justin Bieber, you know, he's mentioning, you know, uh, I don't know if he's mentioned. Let me not say I don't know if he's mentioning Lil Ra's statement, but I know that he was um, groomed by Diddy as well. You know, uh, you know, there's been videos of, you know, he's about 16. You know, I think he did like 48 hours with Diddy and all these type of things. And you can just see that boy Justin Bieber's not right now, man. He's always drugged up. He just always just looked out of his mind. You know, they have destroyed that young boy, man. That young boy's seen a lot. That young boy's probably been through a lot. He just don't look, He he's not that innocent Justin Bieber that we've seen when he first came into this industry, man. This industry will destroy you. This industry will literally destroy you. He came in such an innocent, he had, you know, that gleam, he had a gleam in his eye. He had a gleam in his eye. And now when you look at him, it's just like, wow, wow, that's not, that's not the same kid, man. He don't got that spark, you know, he don't got that, that love for, you know, when he first came in. Now he just seems like he's just drugged up, abused. Like I said, he's always high out of his mind. You can just see it even in a video. You can see, I think he was rolling up something. He's constantly trying to escape those demons, man. And I believe that boy was touched, man. I believe that boy was harmed in some physical way, emotionally, sexually way. And uh, man, you just continue to, you know, pray for people like that, man, because it's not easy, man. And uh, But yeah, like I said, that message today uh, or today was was for, you know, the uh, the young people, man, the agenda. It's, a, it's definitely a zesty agenda that they're, they're, they're pushing. And no matter the field, music, sports, Wherever it may be, man, they are pushing an agenda, you know, and uh, please have eyes to see and ears to hear uh, what's going on around you. Nevertheless, that's my time. Once again, my name is Energy Eli. Please do make sure you comment, like, share and subscribe. Hey, I'm out.